whatever. Good morning, good evening, and or good afternoon. It's your girl, Kesey, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very, 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 very long time. Literally, it's been since February 14th since I've uploaded a video. And um, this video is basically telling y'all why. Stay tuned. <laughs> As some of my subscribers may notice um, from me not uploading or from Snapchat or just from me just being inactive, that something's been going on. And usually I'm on here every two weeks, every week with my vlogs, um, uploading stuff, telling y'all how my week's going and stuff. And y'all, this past month and a half has been very discouraging and very rough. So um, I'm gonna cut to a, several videos that of me recording certain things that happened throughout the last month. And in the end, all of it, all of it will tie together. So. Here's the first video. <sighs> Hi, my beautiful people. I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been so... <sighs> I fell fall off of YouTube. And I'm here to tell y'all the truth of why. And I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. So the last vlog y'all saw was me getting better, me taking tests, me uh, getting sick and whatever, being stressed, being over this semester. This lighting is probably so bad, but I don't care at this point. I'm here to just tell y'all what's going on because I haven't talked to anybody about it and I'm at the point where I can't do it. I can't hide it. I can't. So yeah, this semester has been going horribly. Uh, yes, I'm second semester. This is the new curriculum they have for our semester where they change stuff around, change different courses, put different courses together, separated different courses. And this is a semester I have pharmacology, maternal uh, and newborn, pediatrics, uh, health and finance, and transcultural communication, y'all. And... I'm about to fail maternal and newborn. And it's so embarrassing because, first of all, I'm supposed to be this nurse advocate who's encouraging y'all how to study, how to do this and that. And I can't even, I can't even pass my own test. I can't even pass my own test. So, I mean, I just don't understand. And then, um, okay, my first test, I had an epiphany. It was like, okay, I failed this test, but I could come back. I averaged out what I needed to make every test so I can pass this class. And, y'all, I took the, the second test last week. I was so confident in my answers. I was so confident going into that test. I knew that information. And I get my grade back today, and it says that I failed that test. And then I get an email, literally right when I'm emailing my instructor about meeting with her and trying to get a test review because I don't understand that grade. She emails me about discussing um, my grades about this class. Like, I, I can't, I'm going to have to drop this class, which is going to put me a semester back, which means I will not be able to graduate when I needed to, when I wanted to. And it's just so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing and this is why I've been so distant from YouTube lately because I'm just so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. And I hate the fact the last couple of vlogs I've had were just me crying and just being a baby. But y'all this is the re this is my reality right now. Like I can't I can't hide it and if I'm going to tell y'all the truth if I'm going to be that nurse advocate that's going to be real with y'all I got to tell y'all that I'm failing and I'm not doing good <laughs> and it's so stressful trying to do all this stuff 
trying to study for so many classes and doing all this busy work. There is so much busy work that I get so caught up doing that that I don't have time to study. And well, not really don't have time, but just like taking up my time to study. Then I got clinical and then I'm stressed. If I'm gonna be the nurse advocate, <laughs> I'm not a nurse advocate anymore since I'm failing. If I'm gonna be any kind of genuine person, I'm gonna tell you about the struggle. And this nursing school is kicking my butt. Nursing school is kicking my butt. And I haven't, like, it's not like I've had a social life this semester. It's not like I've spent so much time not studying and not doing all my work. I'm doing all my work. And I'm failing. I just wanted to come here to just let y'all know why I've been so distant from YouTube. Why I haven't uploaded. Why I'm three weeks behind on vlogs. It's just because I'm just not motivated to do this. I'm not. I'm not motivated to get on the internet and smile like everything's okay. I'm not motivated to get on the internet and encourage people and uh, influence people and teach y'all how to study when I don't even know how to study. I don't even know how to study. I can't even share that with y'all. Because I don't even know. And... I, I don't want to say I'm going to quit YouTube. I'm not going to say that. Because I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep y'all updated on my journey. It's just been rough trying to do that with vlogs and everything. I mean, I have so many videos recorded of me just walking around campus, going to, camp, going to class, going to this, going to that. But I'm not, I'm not documenting the real... The real story of me, oh, it's Monday, March 6th, and um, I'm failing. So, as you can see from that video, I was doing really bad in maternal newborn. I was failing. I was not doing well. I, I realized that I may have to drop it. And so that Friday, I met with my teacher, and she told me, the Friday before spring break, she told me if I wanted to stay in the class and take the third test, um, I would have to make a 94 on the last two tests so I can stay in the class, study over spring break, take the first or the third test and see what I get. And if I don't do well, I would have to drop the class or either stay in the class to fail. You can only do either one of those choices once in nursing school and you're out of the program. So, um, I told her my option, like any option that I would make will either stay in, will, will either be to stay in it and pass the class or stay in it and drop it because I'm not going to fail a class and then retake it when I could just drop it, you know? So I took the third test Tuesday to see where I can, um, see if I can get the 94. I didn't get the 94 and, um... She emailed me, or the other professor, instructor, emailed me and told me I don't have the average I need to pass the class. So either I can stay in it to fail or drop it and take it next semester. So that is what I decided to do. And that is what has been so discouraging to me and making me so inactive on the internet because I've just been so sad and so embarrassed, like embarrassed. And I realized that um, I've on, I have only upload when stuff is going right. And if I'm going to be a real nurse advocate, if I'm going to be a real vlogger, period, and a real human being, because not everything is peaches and cream, you know. If, if I want to be this real person um, that y'all decided to subscribe to, I'm going to have to tell y'all when I'm not having good days, when I'm not having, like, um, a good semester because that's reality to some of us and I realized that me telling my story would encourage somebody who's going through the same thing I had to drop maternal newborn um, yesterday and it was the hardest thing ever and um, I mean I feel so bad one for you uh, just being this 
person on the internet has been um, has been just a great opportunity for me, and um, I always come on here with good news and just being that person and having not the best grades and having to drop a class because I literally was not going to pass the, the uh, class. It was just so discouraging and I just felt like, I just felt embarrassed and um, beneath, beneath what I, uh, beneath the expectations of anybody, my mother, my subscribers, my friends, the people in my class, I just felt beneath and I've talked to a lot of people about this. I talked to my grandma, I talked to my mama, I talked to my my uh, big cousin. I talked to, well, both of my big cousins, one that's not in nursing school and one that is in nursing school. I talked to Venetia. If y'all don't follow Venetia Clurge on YouTube, y'all should go follow her. I'll link her YouTube below. I talked to her. I talked to um, just some of my friends in class, and they just told me, Kesey, this does not describe you as a person. This does not describe you as what kind of nurse you're going to be in the future. Venetia told me, oh, it was so encouraging. She said, your struggle now is just going to make you so much better than a, a so much better nurse later because you went through this struggle and you struggled and you know what the struggle is, you know? And I, I can't remember if that's what she said verbatim, but that was just like the gist of what she said. And then my grandma, she encouraged me saying like, girl, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it is not the end of the world. You just move on. You can't stop now. My mom she uh, came through and said, I mean, okay, obviously that's a hard class. We're going to work this summer. We're going to work before you get back in that class. So when you get back in the class, you're going to know the information. All you got to do is take the test. So that was encouraging. And then my cousin, Marquise, he was encouraging by just telling me this minor setback was just, is just setting me up for a major comeback. And then my cousin Tinka, who um, has gone through so much school and just – being down about um, just not being on track, you know, the typical four-year track. She encouraged me to just keep pushing and I can do it and that I've been of inspiration to her. And it, I really appreciate the people in my life. I'm sorry that's loud, but everybody who has just encouraged me so much, Hannah, Anna, um, the people I've talked to in my class, uh, Kayla, I really appreciate y'all because if it wasn't for y'all and just y'all encouraging words and just um, just being there for me in this rough time because y'all know it's hard to have to drop a class and be a semester behind and that's what I have to do. So I, I mean, I really appreciate y'all in my life that has um, encouraged me to do this and encouraged me to keep going and prayed for me, my small group that I can't make on Mondays. I really appreciate y'all praying for me every week nursing school y'all because it's hell <laughs> and I don't want to go to hell but I'm in it right now and um, I've also been just constantly reminding myself that Kesey the struggle is going to be there and you're going to hate your life now but you're going to love your life later and it's just been so encouraging the last couple of days just been so encouraging it, I mean it was a sad situation it was a sad moment but I'm back on my feet. I'm going to pass the rest of my classes this semester. I still got classes, and I can't just let this one class bring me down, so down that I don't even pass my other classes. So I'm going to keep pushing, and I encourage anyone who's going through this, either you're pre-nursing, either you're just in college, even if you're just um, first semester, second semester, third or fourth, y'all. Like, if you have to drop a class, this is your first time dropping a class, you know that um, you're not you're not going to make the grade that you need. and um, I mean, this is just something you need to do. I encourage you, make the pray about it, make the best decision, and and keep pushing because it's not the end of the world, like my grandma said. And um, don't think of yourself any less than anyone. Just think of it just being your own path. And I'm talking to myself as well because I was comparing myself to the people I went to nursing school with. It's like. Oh man, they're, those people are just gonna move on and they're gonna wonder where I am and I'm gonna be the semester before them. Like, I was thinking too much about what everybody else was thinking instead of worrying about myself and worry about yourself. Like, this is your journey and you are going to be a nurse, Kesey. You are going to be a nurse, whoever's watching this. And I mean, that's really all I have to say. And I really hope um, this encouraged you in some way. I know I'm not the only one out there, and that is why I'm doing this because. For me to be the real person that y'all expect to, expect me to be, I have to 
show y'all the good, bad, and the ugly. And this is the bad and ugly, and I'm about to make it good. Um, I got a text message, but yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this encouraged anybody out there struggling with classes or whatnot. Um, just don't get too down on yourself. Just pray about it and make the best decision um, that God gives you. You're going to make it. Just don't give up on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Don't, don't marinate on what could have happened. Don't mar marinate on what didn't happen. Move forward. That's the only way we're going to make it to our goals. That's in my eye. That's the only way we're going to make it to our goals. The only way we're going to, um, you know, be able to prosper if we move forward. So I really encourage y'all to do that. And I really hope this video helped y'all in some way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm, I apologize for shutting down on y'all for a month and a half. I mean, I admit, I admit, like, I was embarrassed. And I'm not embarrassed anymore because this is my journey. And I'm on the Internet to share my journey, and this is a part of it. Maybe God had this in his plan all along. Um, like, Venetia told me, she was like, God knew what your plan was going to be um, before when you were in the room, in the womb. He knew you weren't going to be able to pass that class that first semester when you were in the womb. So that was just so encouraging. Like this is nothing new to God. It's just something. It's just my path coming to the realization that I just need to work harder. And Kesey Mac is back. Your girl Kesey is back. She's back and she's better. Okay. Okay. Um, and y'all, like, y'all are literally my therapy. The last month and a half, I've been so sad because one, I've been sad about not doing my YouTube and then sad about my grades and then sad about all this stuff and didn't even realize that this was my therapy, talking to y'all or talking to my camera and then making it talk to y'all. But I've been missing out on my therapy because I've been sulking. But now I'm not and now I'm back. And I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Please just give, give, <laughs> please give this video a big thumbs up and leave in the comments anything you want me to talk about. Um, leave in the comments your stories if you've experienced this as well. Um, either you're a semester behind. Uh, tell me the story. If you had to drop a class, if you had, if, I mean, if you failed a class, let me know. You don't have to be in nursing school. I just want to know because it's just as encouraging to me to see y'all's stories as this may be to y'all. And I really love y'all so much and appreciate y'all for watching. So please be sure to follow all my social media below. They'll all be linked down there. And um, yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.